Hello everyone, in this video we will see continuation of module 5 working with excel spreadsheets. So first thing is what is excel document? Excel, Microsoft Excel is the commonly used spreadsheet from Windows operating system. So excel spreadsheet document is also called as workbook and it is saved with the extension xlsx extension and it has multiple worksheets in it and the sheet which is currently viewed is called active sheet and sheet will have columns with names a and rows with name one two three four means columns will have the names with a b c d and rows will have the names with one two three four and so on the each box with like a1 a2 or b3 b5 and on is called as a cell and each cell contains a number or text value. The grid of cells with data make up a sheet. Installing Open PY Excel module. So Open PY Excel is a module which is used for accessing or to edit or to do anything to the Excel sheet with the help of Python code. To install Open PY Excel, we have to use P PIP space install space open py excel in command prompt and it will import or it will install open py excel open py excel means open python excel module and to work uh, to see open py excel is currently installed in the ideally window in, uh, just enter import open py excel if no errors it is it is installed successfully next is using open py excel reading excel document to do that first thing we have to import open py excel module then create an object for workbook so wb is a object which is equal to open py excel dot load workbook is a method which will load the work uh, load the excel sheet whatever you pass in the argument to wb so wb is an object for open py excel dot load workbook method so if i type type the of wb it will show class open py excel workbook means it is an object wb is an object for open py excel dot workbook next one is reading the data from excel sheets and so we are uh, from the last slide we saw load workbook will load the data from the past argument excel sheet to the object what we have created so get sheet name will get you the sheets from that work, uh, workbook like example.excel file example excel file will have all these three sheets so get sheet names is a function which is used to get the sheet names wb.get sheet names next sheet is equal to wb dot get sheet by name we can access to the sheet whatever you miss sheet is a attribute name for the sheet which you are providing as an argument for the python previous versions we can make use of get sheet by name function but for latest version we can directly give sheet is equal to wb means object with past list argument as sheet 3 so sheet will have the access to that sheet number what you are provided it may be means sheet 3 is the name given to that sheet so sheet will have an object for worksheet sheet 3 type sheet it has a class for object open py excel worksheet here so sheet title will give you the sheet title and another sheet also another sheet is a variable name given by the user to get active sheet we can make use of wb dot get active sheet or for the higher versions of python we can directly give wb dot active will fetch you the attribute for active sheet next is getting cell from the sheet so now uh, like we saw first how to access for web page next we saw from the web uh, sorry uh, from the excel sheet how to access for the sheet next we'll see how to read the data or how to access one particular cell 
so once an attribute for web page oh sorry once the attribute for excel sheet is created or the object for excel sheet is created then we have to create object for one sheet which from which the cells are uh, accessed and with the help of object from the sheet uh, from the sheet which you are accessing we can make use of cell number like row number column number will meet at one point one cell that particular cell number can be accessed to get the data from that cell so sheet from the list a1 so we'll have sheet once a1 so sheet a1 dot value will get you the value from that cell so x is equal to sheet b1 so we are assigning the value from one cell to the variable name x dot value will get you the data so we can even make use of concatenation to print what is there row with str x dot row will get you the row number of x and column str x dot column will fetch you the column number is str x dot value x dot value will get you the value of that cell next one is uh, getting cell from the excel sheet continuation where sheet dot cell is equal to in, uh, we can make use of sheet with cell number or we can make use of sheet dot cell by passing row number and column number which fetch you that row cell with that column and row number so dot value will get you the value or uh, without dot value will get you the number of that cell or id of the cell so with the help of for loop we can get continuous data from those cells so it will take for i in the range 1 to 8 and with the uh, index of 2 means it will take for loop for 1 plus 2 3 plus root 5 and 7 and so on if you skip this it will take 1 to 8 continuously so for i sheet dot cell means i will be printed as it is sheet dot cell will get you the data from sheet with the cell ith row and two column column number two dot value will give you the values of those columns next is the conversion between column letter and id numbers so here we can get column letter by color letter i 1 by a color uh, column letter 2 by b and if 26 columns get over and if you want to go for 27th column then alphabets are 26 and after 26 to 27th column will start with a 28 with a b once that 26 iteration gets over next the value will be b a and so on so if i go for column number 900 it will have a h p with respect to that so first it will have one index next it will start with two index and then with three alphabets per index so load workbook will create an object for workbook with exam uh, like the worksheet we have passed as an example or passed as an comment sorry passed as an argument sheet will get you the object for the sheet which you want to access for next get column letter will get you the highest uh, get column letter will get you the column number with sheet dot get is column which is in use so column index from string a is 1 column index for the string double a is 27 next is uh, getting row and column from the sheets so we can access complete rows and columns from the sheet with the help of tuple tuple sheets a1 and c3 will get you data from a1 a2 a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c3 c2 a2 b a3 b3 c3 so it will access for access it will give you access from the cell a1 till cell c3 continuously and we can make use of for dot value object for cell object so row of cell objects in 
a1 c3 with the help of uh, for loop for cell objects in the row row of cell objects print cell objects dot coordinators and its value so it will print the coordinator which coordinator of the cell it is and its value a1 b1 c1 will be printed and it will give you n row with respect to end of this for loop and again one more iteration will start with this for loop will have iteration for complete a2 b2 and c2 next third iteration for c uh, third column will start with a3 c3 and b3 so next one is getting rows and columns from the sheet we can get the data instead of two for loops we can even get only cell values with the help of cell objects in sheet column one print cell object values so that it will print only data from cell object column one so column one will have b1 c1 see here b1 b2 b3 so we are getting columns only first column so all the first column data will be printed here i hope you understood these topics thank you